Here we go, player career mode on FIFA 22 and I couldn't be more hyped for this guys. It's time for Cidinho to return and on FIFA 22. Big thank you to EA for providing me an early copy of FIFA 22 so I can create this content for you guys. I appreciate it. All right, guys, here we go. I am so excited for this. Of course, we're going to create your own pro. Cidinho is back for FIFA 22. This is going to be absolutely epic. Now, on FIFA 21's player career mode, Cidinho is Brazilian. We called him Cidinho Jr., but this time we're changing things. It's not Cidinho, it's gonna be Sir Cidinho. That's right, Cidinho is gonna be English. Yup, I've decided to do this to spice things up this year. We're gonna make him an English striker. That's the plan. Last year, you guys complained that we gave our player number 10 too quickly. So we're going to do the hard way. We're going to give ourselves number 29 for whatever club we join. And we'll work our way to that number 9. Sir Cidinho should make things easy. Don't worry about that. Also, I'm just going to use my birth date for the date. 2004 born. There you go. Sorted. But yeah, Sir Cidinho. I want to see you guys spamming Sir Cidinho in the chat. Hashtag Sir Cidinho. Let's get that running in the chat. Before we get any further, I'd really appreciate if you could could spare a second and drop a like on the video really helps the channel grow my player content's going to be dropping on this channel hopefully daily or at least every other day and i cannot wait to produce this content for you guys and if you guys show support by dropping a like it'll just motivate me to upload more and more plus subscribe daily career mode content is going to be on here ultimate team as well it's going to be a lot of stuff and i want you guys to get involved we're going to get this channel to 100k subs by the end of the year and i need your guys's help for it so do subscribe now did i reveal we're going to be a striker for fifa 22 i kind of want to do things a bit different so we'll be like six foot works fine yeah let, let's rock this bit of a big guy so that we can win headers and all i like this do we want to go with the lean body type as a striker that affects strength a fair bit no it doesn't all that much it'll maybe help us dribble a bit better hmm let's try this out if it doesn't work we can adjust the body type i guess actually nah well, let's do this let's be a bit stocky we want to win headers six foot one Cidinho. that's what we're gonna rock forward striker right footed that is the play you know what there are a fair few new hairstyles in fifa 22 they've got this in the game i i don't recall seeing this on last year's game we're gonna start off with something a bit basic we will we'll rock that for sir Cidinho. why the hell not yeah works for me works for me looks definitely looks english so that's fine. Just out of curiosity, would I be able to get Sir Cidinho at the back of the shirt? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Let's see. Let's see this, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> We're putting this on. This is happening, guys. Sir Cidinho at the back of the jersey. <laughs> We're rocking this. If you think I'm going in tucked in, nah. Untucked kit, it's gotta be that. Apart from that, everything else just is fine jersey fit normal works for me waist fit yeah we sorted that out player boots player boots what boots have we got here to start with oh puma king pele's boots is there oh ooh, ooh. okay okay let's start off with the you know basic boots like nothing too spectacular oh they're not many boots still in the game okay 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 then let's let let's start with new balance because Jack Harlow is a big fan of New Balance, so let's rock these and slowly just upgrade our way to Nike and all. That's the play. Celebrations will keep it random for the sake of it. Free kick style, hands on hips has to be. Running style. We're a striker. Let's get a bit of the Ronaldo in us. Why not? And that's the setting sorted. We will not be able to change it. We don't need to. Sir Cidinho, look at the name. Remember the name. He's back. Let's do it. We gotta start in England now that it's Sir Cidinho. We just gotta... I'm going to start with a Premier League team. Let's just look through the options we've got. Aston Villa wouldn't be a bad shout at all. Everton would be fun, but would we even start there? That's the issue. That's the issue. Actually, guys, I don't mind Leeds United. We're going to struggle to get game time, but could be fun. We're going to be competing with Patrick Bamford for a starting spot. We can learn a lot from him. Under Bielsa. Ooh, I like that. Under Bielsa. Let's start at Leeds United. Why not? Sounds amazing. That's what we're going to do. Also, we're going to keep the settings at world class for the get-go because I'm not good at FIFA 22. Um, this is literally the first time I'm playing this game. We just got to calm things down. We'll start at world class and then build from there. 
There is honestly so much new in FIFA 22 career mode, especially my player. Like, look at this. This is the attribute section, which is how you're going to be boosting a lot of your stats. And it's epic. So we can use the seven skill points we've got right now to move ourselves up from a 66 rated player to whatever we want. Epic. By the way, I selected myself as a center forward. I don't want to do that. I want to be a striker. And guess what? You can do this in game. You can actually change yourself to whatever position you want mid season. If I want to be a defender, I can be that now. Wow. This adds so much variety to career mode. Like, honestly, we're now a 69 rated striker. Let's go ahead and put those skill points on. By the way, look at this. Sir Cedinho, the reveal has been made. Lovely. Hey, let's get those skill points on. I'm definitely boosting the pace as fast as possible. Oh, we're, we're pretty slow already. Don't want that to happen. That's going to cost us three skill points. Acceleration is needed. Do want a bit of that pace boost as well. We've got two skill points left. We'll use that for dribbling, one for dribbling and one for agility. That's how I'm going to use my first seven skill points. Hopefully we can earn, you know, uh, skill points and everything soon. As we level up, I think we'll be getting more uh, skill points. We're right now level one. So there's that. And this is where you'll be able to add perks. To your player right now we haven't got many of them unlocked the only ones that are useful are assist streak boost passing attributes for a short time so if we assist the goal that's going to boost our passing for for a fair bit how amazing are these features man i love it absolutely do and then there's something called archetypes which are basically like uh unbelievable attribute boosts that we'll only get once we like complete that skill tree so as you can see if we get the bull archetype it'll make us immensely strong on the pitch we need that in our life we do so we'll have to just grind this is going to be such a grind and i'm already excited for it by the way did you see that on the top left marcelo bielsa there's a photo of him as well and that shows where we are standing in as in the team we're a sub right now and we could fall into the reserves if we don't perform and we could of course do better and become a starter that is amazing all right boys let's already just get into some training training has been revamped as well so from training instead of getting overall boost i think the xp we have will get boosted so let's quickly get into some drills i'm thinking we start off with the skill move gates you know what let, let's let's mess around with a bit of skills and see what's up remember we gotta start playing the drills so that we of course um get like the best grade possible okay so literally i can only do like stuff like the ball roll because yeah we don't really have any of the insane skill move ratings so all i'm doing is like the ball roll and stuff <laughs> and i can't even do that properly it's not the easiest of drills it should be actually we, we should we should be scoring a good grade in this one damn i could only get a b from this that's just sad you know what i'll just play through the other drills a few of them i'll select and we'll see what's up we got 1450 xp from that yo we got to be doing these training drills pretty regularly do you know farm xp oh a shooting drill this this should be nice well let me know what are the shooting mechanics of fifa 22 well so far so good we're, we're, we're literally the next holland by the looks of things we're literally hitting the board on every strike like couldn't have been any better for us look at that oh that was a good save how are driven shots? Oh, there's no point taking driven shots. Left foot right on that. And we've completed the challenge. Okay, we got to level up, even though my last drill was pretty terrible. And actually, if you do the drills terribly, your manager rating goes up and down. Because look at our manager rating. It's gone a bit up because we did well with training and we unlocked a perk as well. We've got three skill points to add. Let's actually put them all to use. Mm, I'm thinking we used the uh, stamina seems smart. And this boosts our strength as well. Okay, we're, we're getting that. And I'm thinking we use the last one for a bit of the shooting stuff. Get that finishing up a bit. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty sure we unlocked a perk as well. I'd rather use the new perk that we unlocked instead of assist streak. Distant shooter. Increase your accuracy and power from long shots. Grants you the finesse shot. And outside, what? If we use this trait, we're basically going to have a five star weak foot finesse shot and outside foot shot trait already. Guys, is that some sort of a joke? Let me just check. Is that even true? Attributes? It's given us a three star weak foot. Why does it say we'll have that with the perk on? Maybe we got to activate the perk and then it gives us that. I guess in game we'll figure it out. I guess it's time for what you guys are waiting for. We're going to be playing a preseason game just to see what's up. European Shield, it's against Fiorentina. We're going to start this. So it should be a good vibe. We're going to be starting this, guys. 
Can't wait. Cannot wait. Oh, wait. We're not starting this. We're on the bench. And Sir Cedinho has been brought on. 60th minute. Playing on the right side. Okay, we're not playing as a striker. That's not good. That's not good for us. Recognize objectives. We need to complete our targets and objectives. Let's hope we can do that. Gotta make advantage of preseason, boys. This is it. This is it. We're coming on for our debut. Number 29. Love the new cutscene. Cedinho is on. Attacking pressure. Make two interceptions in the opponent half. Opposition half. Okay. Let's choose our objective. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. What's our objective? How do I check that? Get a match rating of at least seven. Score at least one goal. Oh my god. The objectives are difficult, boys. But we'll see what we can do. First touch of the game, boys. First touch of the game. Gonna pass and release. Played back to me. Good pass. Cedinho getting involved. <laughs> Maybe not. That was, yeah. Here we go now. Oh, that's a good release. And now making the run into the box. I'm making the run into the box. Cross comes in. I'm trying to attack it. The run was decent, but the ball, not so much. But oh, I tried to win it back. Anyone else notice how vibrant FIFA 22 is? I love it. I don't know why we're dropping so deep, but we're doing a good job as I release it wide. What's my teammate doing? Come on, you've got to be doing better than that. Oh, not an ideal start for us. Chance for Fiorentina. Oh my god, Melier, what a save that was. Woo, what a save. Got to do a bit of the defensive work now. Well, we didn't do any of it. Long ball for Cedinho, pinging it lovely. Oh, that's a good play. Gelhardt now. Gelhardt, back for Cedinho. I shouldn't have asked for it there. And I go down tumbling. Shouldn't have asked for it there. Here we go. Cedinho looking inside for Gelhardt. Back for Cedinho now. Go on. He's got a bit of pace here. Got a bit of pace, but couldn't bring it inside. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a good tackle from Cedinho. Could do something here. That's a good run from him. Tries to release it, but the touch was so heavy. That was probably the first real moment we had in a lead shirt doing something. Like it, man. I do like it, but I wish I was playing as a striker. Centrally is where we'll actually dominate, and it's a shame we're not being deployed there. Could do something here? Nope, we can't. Oh, that's a good pass for Gelhardt. Goes for goal, and it's in. Let's go. Leeds United get the lead. It's Gelhardt, who's been playing as a striker. I should have been playing there. Let's be real, but regardless, he's managed to score. I'm running behind to catch him, but I just can't. He's now going to be celebrating with Bielsa. I'm joining the party as well. Let's go. Leeds get a lead. Uh, yeah, I'll take a preseason win. Why not? Come on. Oh, Sir Cedinho now on the charge. Oh, the strength is there. The strength is there. He's holding off everybody. He's holding off everybody. Shoots. Oh, my God. Sir Cedinho has scored. That's our first in a lead shot. And it comes in the 89th minute. What a run. The strength to hold everyone off. If that not just states why he should be playing as a striker, I don't know what. Left foot. Oh my god, what a strike. That is unreal. Look at that for a goal. Our first goal with Cedinho on FIFA 22. And it's against Fiorentina in the preseason. Even Bielsa cannot contain his excitement. 2-0 against Fiorentina. Come on. We wanted to see that, boys. We wanted to see Sir Cedinho score. Let's go. And that's full time. I think we end the game with an 8.9 match rating. That's going to be huge for us absolutely massive things you do love to see this is the end of the game cutscene by the way it's completely new i think added into the game everybody coming and congratulating Cedinho for his debut goal i love it i absolutely love it just adds more immersion man look at that sir Cedinho. stats don't lie match rating 9.5 Minutes played, goals, everything. Lovely. We were the highest rated player in the team with a 9.6. Lovely. Look at this, guys. We get the Man of the Match award and we're sitting right there with it. Uh, plus 15 on the manager rating. We didn't do the attacking pressure thing, but we're close to level 3 already. Player growth, if we go there, we don't have any skill points to add. But I guess that distant shooter perk worked for us because we banged that one right with our left foot. You know what, guys? I'm going to sim through the rest of the preseason. Because let's be real, we want to get to the Premier League season. That's where the fun will begin. So we'll just quickly sim through preseason and get right into Prem action. But sadly, that has taken a hit on our manager rating. So yeah, that's that's there. But we've already been hopped on to level 
four, I think. No, level three. So we've got three more skill points to work with, which we're going to put to use already. Need to try and improve the shooting. If I get that finishing right, that'd be epic. Uh, I'm thinking we can boost long shots a bit. Long shots and shot power. Ah, that takes two skill points. Now nah, I'm going to put it on. No, nah, I don't want this. I'm going to put it on. Uh, not entirely sure. Let's boost the pace then a bit. Let's boost the pace because if we can get this one, imagine our pace. Let's, let's boost the sprint speed a bit. Oh, we can actually even boost more sprint speed. 84 sprint speed. I'll take it. One more skill point and we'll be super quick. By the way, I've just been doing training regularly and that's got our manager rating up to like a starter. We could be starting our first Premier League game soon. Wow. Hey, we've again leveled up, giving us four skill points. Guys, I think getting skill points is a bit too easy on FIFA 21, 22, I should say, because we're getting them skill points really easily. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let's anyways boost a bit of the dribbling, I guess. Ball control, bit more dribbling, attack positioning. Don't mind that if I do. And a bit more ball control, I guess. Let's be good on the ball. There you go. I've been really impressed with the strength of your performances in preseason. I'm going to start you in your next game. We're playing against Man United. Bielsa is putting me forward. Let's go. Just wanted to take a quick look at the squad we've got here and just see what we're dealing with here at Leeds. So the best strikers, Bamford and then Cidinho. We've got Dan James. Okay. Rafinha. Rodrigo as a cam. Tyler Roberts. Click. Not made any new signings. Yusuf Fofana, is he a new signing? Might be. Dallas, Forshaw, Harrison, Phillips. No. Oh, Shuchik is decent. Koch. I don't think they've made many new signings, so I, I really can't figure it out. Anyways, it is what it is. We now make our Premier League debut against Manchester United. This should be fun. Where are we going to play? That's the real question. We're starting as a striker. Cidinho, the mega talent, is starting as a striker here. This is about to be a bit crazy, let's be real. And we're playing Ronaldo, day one. Cidinho versus Ronaldo. Couldn't write this script. In real life, Man United pumped leads. Let's see what we can do on the pitch here. Play as Cidinho, let's go. Here we go, boys. Old Trafford, a Ronaldo Tifo in the background. Oh my god, the atmosphere is set. Will Cidinho step up? There he is walking out. Sir Cidinho, number 29. Let's select which objective we need to focus on. I, I think it's got to be this one. It's It's got to be the rating. I think we can do that. We're playing as a striker. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Junior feet boy. I need that cross. I need the ball in. I need the ball in. I've made the run ahead of the defender. Not really because Maguire saw that one coming, but good start. The movement is there. The movement is there. Playing as a striker means that we can loiter around the two centre-backs and preserve stamina. That way with Bruno with the chance already off the crossbar. What an opportunity for Manchester United. Ronaldo going for goal. Blocked away. And now we can do something. Good ball for Sir Cidinho. Just going to smartly release it away. Move forward. Click here. Back for Junior Firpo. We're moving the ball around really well. Cidinho. Oh, that's a lovely pass out wide. Just rotating things. Rafinha with a bit of talent looking inside. Ah, oh, come on, Pogba. What an interception that was. Will we get it, yo? Ah, oh, come on. Good defending from Manchester United. That was... Oh, here we go. Sending Cidinho through. What a chance. This is right foot. Oh, my God. What a save from David De Gea. How? 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 That was our chance to score against Manchester United. Our debut Premier League goal. How close? Nah, dude. Nah. Wow, 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 wow. Cidinho flicks that one up. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What have we just done? What have we just done? We just sipped the D on Manchester United. And we've just scored a goal of the season contender in the first episode itself. Flicking it up, bang. FIFA 22 is insane. FIFA 22 is insane. What on earth have I witnessed? What on earth have I just witnessed? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I really can't. Unbelievable. That is his first goal in the Premier League. Sir Cidinho is a monster. Sir Cidinho is something else. The next big thing in the sport. Oh, my God. What was that? We need a replay. We need a replay. Replay. What on earth have we just witnessed here, guys? What on earth? Ball comes in for him. A cheeky flick. Oh, Fred and Maguire don't know what's up. And then, on the volley, first time, bang. 
Wow, how do you pull that off on your Prem debut? You gotta be a special talent and that he is. Okay, the extra pace we've now got with Cidinho is so, so useful. Look at him go, guys. Look at him go. Cidinho. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cidinho beats one. I'm taking one from distance just to test out the long shots. The distance shooter perk that we've got on him makes him a monster. I don't think I've played player career mode where my player was so satisfying to use already. Okay, Cristiano Ronaldo is through on goal. Ronaldo doesn't miss chances like that. Out of nowhere, Manchester United get the equaliser. And of course, it's Cristiano Ronaldo who scores. Imagine making your debut and, and scoring and Ronaldo scoring in the same game. It's historic, honestly. Historic. Cristiano Ronaldo scores 1-1 at halftime. I mean, there's still a few minutes left, but crazy. Halftime, it's Cidinho 1, Ronaldo 1. Who would have thought that? Let's get into the second half. And just see what we can do. Not do bad from Cidinho. Outshine Ronaldo. Outshine everyone else with an absolute screamer. Oh, I'm asking for the long ball. And can I make that run? Oh my god. Varane's made a big mistake. Varane's made a big mistake. I go for goal and I've missed. No. Bielsa is fuming as well. Look at Ole. Where's his neck? Yo. yo yeah, you've just removed his neck. Anyways. um, How on earth did I not score that is the real question. Huh. Bruno Fernandes crossing it in. Falls for Pogba. That's good defending from Click. And here we go. Cidinho now. Got options. Releasing it on the left side for Harrison. And I'm making a darting run into the box. I'm going to ask for the cross. It's come in. Maguire always had that covered. Marcus Rashford with a chance. Oh, what a save from Melier. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Good save from him. United could easily be 2-1. Uh, uh, by the way, one thing you're noticing in the gameplay, so many more chances organically being created by both teams. Lovely to see. That was never there on the previous FIFAs and player career mode. The AI was always stupid. And we might have a chance here. Ailing Offside. Oh, they've got a chance here to score. It's Fred going for goal. Melier with another incredible save. He's keeping us in it, boys, so far. He's keeping us in it. I think we're supposed to mark number 25. I don't think we need to because Harrison has done well. We should be able to control this one. And we've got an ahead of our man. Clever release for Phillips. And now Harrison back for Sir Cedinho. That's not the best of passes. No, it is Rodrigo. Bad challenge by Varane. I mean, it was good, but uh, yeah, annoying challenge, I could say. Cedinho, clever release for Ailing. Could ask for a cross. Ah, oh, that was a bad one. I'm trying to see how crosses are on FIFA 22, but I've just not made the perfect runs to receive a good cross. Oh, here we go now. Here we go now. Good ball in for Rafinha. I'm making a good run here. I'm asking for the ball from him. I go for the header. I win it, but that was just too difficult to do anything from. That just was too difficult to do anything from. As Cavani has been brought on for Ronaldo, but that should be full time here. Anytime now, the ref should blow the full-time whistle. He isn't. Instead, they've got a chance here with Cavani. Holds up well. Good challenge. And that's going to be full-time. Manchester United have drawn against Leeds. Cedinho with, I think, a man of the match performance. I'll take that. You know what? I I I'll, I'll definitely take that. I'll 100% I'll take that. That goal was just sublime. I can't believe we actually scored that. Look at the rating. 9.1 match rating. One goal. Not too shabby. We'll take it. What is this? Player performance? Look at the detail in the stats we're getting. Goals, assists, shots, dribble success rate. Unreal. I love it. I love it. Love the details in the stats here. Gives us possession, dribble types. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at this. It tells you how many nutmegs and all you've had. We've had zero, but... You know what? Let me just... There you go. Look at that. Bottom right of your screen. Mental. Gives you like where you've done whatever ball possession, where's your shooting from. The stats in this is crazy. Love it. Look at that, boys. We're already becoming a starter and we're gaining XP so quickly. I kind of feel like EA need to nerf the XP growth because it seems so OP, but not too bad. I'm so happy with a striker. It's just so much fun playing as a striker in FIFA, honestly. Three goals already this season, two of them coming in the European Shield. Oh, that's because... Oh, so if you simulate through the calendar, you actually are put on the pitch and you play. Fair enough. Okay. 
By the way, we start in player career mode as a three star weak foot and a three star skill move player, which is interesting. Our stats are right now insane and we'll just keep improving upon them. But for now, this is where we're going to be wrapping up the first episode of the My Player series. Loved it, man. Really loved it. As you guys can see, Fofana and Jamal Lewis were the new signings the club has made. But yeah, super fun recording this one. I am excited to see how far we can go with the My Player save and how quickly we can make Cedinho a Champions League winner. Enjoying already life at Leeds and let's hope we can keep this up. For now though, if you enjoyed it and want to see more player career mode content, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and well, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys for more FIFA 22 content.